Indian badminton star player Satvik Sairaj Ranki Reddy smashed the Guinness world record for the fastest hit by any player, male or female, during the Korea Open. Satvik recorded a speed of 565 kilometers per hour with his smash. Yes, 565 kilometers per hour. To put this astonishing hit into context, the fastest speed recorded by a Formula One car is 397.48 kilometers per hour, while the fastest tennis serve maxes out at 263 kilometers per hour. This is even faster than the fastest train in the world, the Shanghai Maglev, at 460 kilometers per hour. And remember, Southwick's smash broke a decade-long record previously held by the Malaysian player Tan Bon Hyong, who set the record in May 2013 with a smash speed of 493 kilometers per hour. But how did Southwick achieve this feat? Well, to understand that, we need to understand the factors that affect the speed of the smash. The number one is the body movement. The body movement influences the energy flow and the timing of the contact. A good form of smash is crucial to accumulate the power of the body and to release it as a whole in an instant. The number two is the form of the smash. To maximize the speed of a smash, the main body needs to work together to generate and deliver power into the, into the shot. The energy starts from the foot and transfers to the waist then shoulder, onto the arm, then the fore forearm, the wrist, and lastly, the racket head. Among these intersections, the waist, the forearm, and the wrist need to be twisted. The number three is the sweet spot of the racket. While playing, one uses the racket head to hit, but there is a certain region where one can get the best power transmission and most precision, and that region is called the sweet spot. When the bird hits in this region, the force will be more equally spread than when it hits outside. The number four point is the racket's center of gravity. The center of gravity of the racket is the point at which you can lift the whole racket stably with one single finger. To perform a better smash, it would be better to pick a racket whose center of gravity is close to the head. Number five is the string tension. Well, the string tension is also a very crucial uh, part of it. It is of very crucial importance because it directly relates to the elasticity of the string, which is a property that determines how much energy can be transmitted to the bird, which is the shuttlecock. So basically, better the elasticity, better the results. So remember, Satvik essentially got all of the above mentioned factors right to get that 565 kilometers per hour smash that actually broke the world record. Osama Shab for NDTV.